Hello, and welcome to, or welcome back to, MGBs and Other Stuff, a channel that explores MGBs and other things that interest me. Hopefully, you'll find it interesting too. If you enjoy this channel, please consider liking and subscribing. Hey folks! Well, it's been a while since I've done a video, so I thought I'd give you a bit of an update on Iris. It's been raining here for what seems like an eternity, but May weather seems to be improving. I've had a birthday, and so has Iris. We both turned 60 this year, although technically Iris was built in October of 1962, so it's a little bit older than I am. But like me, we both sprang a few leaks, and are in need of a few replacement parts. So today is Saturday, April 29th, 2023, and of course, it's raining. So I had been in several times over winter to check on Iris, and one day, um, I forget what month it was, but I noticed some oil dripping off the clutch pedal or I guess more correctly, hydraulic fluid. Luckily though, I had a, a pan underneath the pedals in the footwell with a desiccant in it uh, for moisture control, and it was catching all the oil, so I thought I'd wait till spring to address it. So obviously the master cylinders are leaking. Um, no sense doing one, so I'm gonna do both. At this point, I've already taken all the uh, hardware out and all the and the uh, master cylinders themselves. There are some other issues I'm having though. So um, the today's video is going to be mostly about master cylinders, but I'm going to show you what else is going to be coming in the future. So the second issue I'm having is this car was fitted with a inverted uh, oil filter adapter, and when I changed the oil for the winter for my winterizing video I did have some problems uh, with oil leaking I couldn't get the filter to seal 100% uh, it was drip 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 and then this spring when I started the engine uh, that drip turned into a torrent of oil coming out of there so I'm going to address that I'm not quite sure what's wrong with it yet uh, but we'll get it sorted uh, I'll, I've ordered the parts and so hopefully I'll, I'll be able to get it fixed the third thing that I want to do is actually change the uh, heater pipe, the copper one that runs from the heater back into the coolant system. Uh, the uh, one that was on the car I think was uh, homemade uh, just from uh, plumbing copper and it just was kind of goofy looking to me. I really like that to be nice and straight and come down so that'll be an easy fix just replacing that. So the third thing I want to do is change the spigot that comes off the side of the engine block. It's kind of right below the um, distributor and I always thought it was kind of neat that there was a little you know, brass spigot there that you could drain fluid from. I've since learned that um, most of them are functional. Um, so I bought a new one, probably don't need to put it in but I'm going to go through that as well uh, in a future video. So the fifth thing I want to do is change the pistons in the front calipers on the disc brakes. Last year I changed the pads. They were squeaking pretty good, so I got new ones and that fixed that. But when I had the calipers off, uh, I noticed the pistons were um, in pretty rough nick. So I'll have those replaced. But I really should have the master cylinder fixed uh, before I do that. So that'll be a future video as well. So this is uh, an inventory of the parts that I ordered from Moss. You can see the spigot uh, for the coolant drain on the block, and we'll talk about that in another uh, video. Uh, the inverted spin-on oil adapter. I just ordered a, a new one in case the other one was warped or there was some damage to it. I'm not sure. I have a feeling I might have cross-threaded the oil filter, but I'm not sure yet. Um, you can see uh, one of the gaskets for the pedal box. Uh, that's for when you reattach them to the in the engine bay. 
the <clears throat> copper pipe for the heater, of course, uh, the pistons for the front brakes and the associated seals. And while I'm in there, I might as well change the lines. Uh, there's the brake pedal and the clutch pedal and the hardware that was in there. Springs are still hanging from the, uh, in the, in the footwell. Uh, some more of those gaskets uh, for the pedal boxes when you put them uh, back in. Of course, the um, seal kits for the master cylinders um, and the master cylinders themselves. Brake on the left, clutch on the right. Uh, and then the pedal box, uh, they're there. They're still in pretty good nick. Uh, they just need a little bit of touch-up paint and uh, some sanding. And this is all the associated hardware that came out of it. I cleaned it all really well and then gave it a little bit of WD-40, just keeping them all together in a tin like that, uh, waiting for reassembly. So this is the master cylinder box, or I just call it a pedal box. That's the cover and the box behind it. Uh, the master cylinders are held on with two bolts and two nuts each and I found it easier to take this whole assembly apart while leaving the lines on then I could get my flare nut wrench on there there was enough wiggle room to get them out and then take them apart these will just require a little bit of sanding and uh, a new spray paint job and they'll look just like new So I was a little confused when it came to ordering the repair kit for my master cylinder, especially for the clutch. Apparently on these original designs, uh, there's marked and unmarked. So uh, there'd be a groove uh, up near the flange on um, a marked cylinder or a couple of concentric circles um, on the rear of the master cylinder. Mine doesn't have any of those markings. so. Mine it would be called an unmarked uh, original design master cylinder. And it says in the catalog that original style repair kits for unmarked cylinders are no longer available. So I was in a bit of a dilemma because I hadn't at this point when I went to order the parts taken the master cylinders apart. I wanted to sort of have all that stuff on hand uh, before I started tearing stuff down. Um, in hindsight, though, I should have probably taken it off and e examined what kind of uh, internal components there were in it. At any rate, I did find another supplier that uh, had those uh, original parts. So I'm going to show you um, the kit I ordered from uh, Moss and the kit I ordered from uh, this other supplier, Peninsula, in um, Oakville, Ontario and uh, I'll show you the difference in the in the seals. But first I'll take the clutch master cylinder uh, part so you can see all the components that are inside of it. Uh, this is the clutch master cylinder. That's the piston. The clutch pedal pushes that in and pushes the piston and forces fluid into the uh, lines and engages your clutch. Um, then there's a piston in that um, cylinder and springs that push it back out. So uh, usually the first thing you do is take the boot off and since I'm not uh, going to reuse any of this I'm not going to be too concerned if I damage any of them. I think anytime you do any work on a master cylinder you should be looking at replacing all the seals anyways because you don't want to nick or uh, tear or break a piece off of any of those rubber seals. So just a circlip and a circlip removal um, pliers uh, really necessary. I went out and bought a pair. I didn't really have a good uh, set so I do now. And so that's the push rod and the circlip and there's a little integral um, washer in there. I don't know if it's bronze or, or brass, uh, but it doesn't come off. It stays on there. The circlip you can get off. I'll end up reusing it, I think. Uh, just give it a good cleanup. 
I was just comparing the uh, the brake one to the clutch one, and they seem to be identical to me. Uh, sometimes it's hard to get the piston out, but if you push it right in hard, then let go, then the spring will normally pop it out. The uh, <clears throat> fluid in there was quite black when I was cleaning it out with some brake cleaner and uh, you can see it's still quite black on the piston rod. I'll get those all really cleaned up before I put it all back together. There's a little um, seal, uh, rubber seal, I think they call it the primary seal for the piston, but I'm going to show you a diagram with all the pieces labeled on it. Um, there's a, a cup end and a flat end. The cup end uh, faces out towards the uh, push rod and they seat each other in there. Then there's a little metal washer in there. You shouldn't really, I know I'm using a screwdriver in there, um, you want to be careful that you're not going to scratch or damage that cylinder bore in any way. It's really important that it's um, uh, smooth and even and not pitted or scratched or has grooves in it. Uh, there is a cup washer or cup seal uh, that covers the spring there <clears throat> and it's a little difficult to get out. Um, of course again I'm not worried about damaging it because um, I'm replacing it but uh, if you did you might want to use a I'm using a chopstick here a little safer for puncturing it. If you can sort of push it off to the side while you're pushing the spring down and then get a uh, needle nose pliers in there you can bring it out in one piece so that's the uh, cup seal and then that's the spring also coated with black clutch fluid and uh, there's a little spring retainer at the uh, top of that and nothing else um, so I'll give that a really good clean before it all goes back together I'm also going to refinish them here are the components of the clutch master cylinder. The red line is what came out, uh, so that's the original set, uh, the boot, the secondary cap, piston washer, and a main cap. Sometimes they call them cups. They tend to use those words interchangeably. Uh, the blue line is the one, the kit, the repair kit that I ordered from Moss. Now, it's for a converted master cylinder, which I think would have involved uh, changing the piston. Um, and then the green line is the one that I'm going to be using, which has the boot, the secondary cap, and the main cap. That's the one I got from Peninsula in Oakville, Ontario. Um, didn't come with a piston washer, so I'll just use the washer from the um, converted master kit. Um, I was a little surprised that Moss doesn't have um, the original repair kit because when I'm looking at the brake master cylinder kit, it's the same boot, it's the same secondary cap, and it's the same main cap. So if they're interchangeable, I'm not sure, but um, we'll see how it all works out. The brake master cylinder components are a little more straightforward. So the top line, same components, the boot, push rod, piston, piston washer, main cap, uh, spring retainer, spring uh, off the original set. And the second line is the repair kit, which has the boot, the secondary cap, the main cap, piston washer, and a new valve assembly. Um, and uh, like I mentioned before, the boot, the secondary cap, and the main cap or cup are exactly the same as the clutch uh, repair kit for the original ones. But um, anyways, I'm pleased that all those components are the same and uh, now I can start getting them back together. One of the other things you want to check with these master cylinders is that the bores themselves are uh, clean. Um, I still have to clean these out a little bit, but there's no scoring on the or pitting or rust in there. So I'm pleased to see that. I've had my baby finger in each hole to feel if there's any ridges or rubs, and they're they're not. They're um, 
very smooth. I also thought I'd show you what I used to start removing the paint on these. So this easy strip is supposed to be um, eco-friendly and this is after about two applications. I'm going to get them a little cleaner. I'm kind of digging this uh, sort of retro old school look on them rather than uh, giving them a bright shiny finish but we'll see how that progresses. So while we're talking about the finish on these uh, master cylinders, this is how they look like when they came out of a car. Uh, kind of a dull gray paint on top of a, looked like a reddish um, primer underneath it. And um, of course they're showing rust and some bare metal, so they, they should be protected. Uh, but I'm not sure whether or not I wanna repaint them I'm not sure what the original colors would have been. I've read somewhere, I think, that the brake master cylinders had a gray paint on them, but the clutch masters were a bare metal. Uh, if anybody knows, please leave a comment. I'd like to know. Uh, but I think I might end up just uh, removing the rest of the paint off them and um, uh, giving them some sort of a clear coat or polish to uh, help uh, inhibit any rust. I also know that the uh, clutch master cylinder doesn't have the correct cap on it. I've ordered a, a new cap. I'll just have to age it somehow to make it match the uh, rest of the cylinder. Well, that's going to be it for me today. I'm going to address the, uh, the kits and putting it all back together. Um, hopefully, I'll post that by the end of next week weather is supposed to be really good coming up so I'll be able to get Iris out onto the driveway that gives me more room to uh, work on it and better light and all that sort of stuff better surface to work on uh, then I'll start addressing some of those other uh, projects that the, I have on the go and hopefully uh, in a couple of weeks I'll uh, be able to take it for a drive and as always please leave comments questions uh, criticisms, uh, anything that I might have got wrong. Um, I really don't mind. I try to respond to all the comments. And um, if you like this channel, please consider liking and subscribing.